let's talk about the receptacle real quick. You have three wires, main black terminal, main positive terminal, reed switch. What's a reed switch? Well, the reed switch is a safety switch that's built into the factory terminal here. So when you plug your stock charger into this, it would break continuity on the reed switch. When it breaks continuity, it would not allow the golf cart to drive any longer because this wire here did not have a pack voltage on it. So this wire has to be ran to the positive of the battery. So I went ahead and removed the cover, exposing the inside of the stock terminal. So you have your negative, your positive, the positive wire comes over and it comes to this little switch right here. And basically it's a mercury switch inside of here that's making and breaking continuity. Let's go a step further. All right, so I took my multimeter, I set it to continuity. I have one leg going to the main positive wire here. I have the other leg going to the reed switch wire this is the reed switch right here. So if we introduce a magnetic field to it, it shuts up, it breaks continuity, okay? That's the same thing that the stock charge receptacle would do as well. If we remove the magnet, it makes continuity, okay? So once you remove the receptacle from the golf cart, we need to take this red wire here and go directly to the battery's main positive so the golf cart would then continue to work. These here, they're junk. Go ahead and throw them away. They're not worth anything at all. These are the 110 volt AC port adapters I use now. I've been finding these for less than $10. I'll put a link to them in the video description as well where you can get them also, but they are designed to fit directly on this plate. And then the plate goes on the body of the golf cart. Here I make laser adapter plates that we're gonna use on the golf cart. This is exactly what it's gonna look like. There's another hole up underneath that flap there, but it'll fit the golf cart. Now, I like to use rivets on mine. Uh, if you use bolts and nuts, just don't tighten them down too much. This is just eighth inch acrylic, but a rivet will work just fine. So if you order the plate from me, this is the box that's gonna come in. I sell these for $20 shipped, not a penny more. That includes USPS tracking, um, and it weighs like three ounces, but I'll put all the information down in the video description below where you can get it. And this is the kind of box that's gonna arrive in. This is the rivet that I use, it's black. It's an exploding rivet. It's the same rivet EasyGo uses on the body and everything. And by exploding, it means that it comes in like a tri-fold pattern. I use these rivets to mount it to the body and to mount the port to the laser acrylic as well. I'll put a link to the rivets I use down in the video description also. Went there and I just drilled that bottom hole out of the body. See what it looks like from the inside, if you can see it down there. And we'll put the last rivet in there and rivet it down. And then we're done with this right here step. Went ahead and mounted the charger. Went ahead and took the power lead going in, wrapped it up, wire tied it once, then wired it tied it to the handle here. This is going to the battery here. So we're good there and it's not gonna move around any, it's mounted permanently.